In this tutorial, we are going to walk you through the necessary steps to create your first interactive VR experience in SimLab VR Studio. Before we begin, let us first import the 3D scene that we will be working with. At the top of the page you will find a download link, click it to download the Earth model. In SimLab VR Studio, from the top panel, go to File then select Open. Browse to the directory where the file has been downloaded, then select it and click Open. This is a 3D environment of an auditorium, and as you can see, it has a geometry of Earth floating above a table. The interactive experience we will be creating is for the Earth to rotate around itself once the user interacts with it in VR. The first step we are going to take is to create the rotation animation of Earth. Left-click the Earth geometry to select it, then in the bottom panel, switch to the Animation tab. In this tab you can create, manage and edit animation for objects in the scene. With the Earth geometry still selected, click on the Object Animation drop-down menu and select, Round Table. In the Round Table dialog, you can set the start frame and the end frame for the animation, as well as the degrees that the object would turn. Let us leave them at their default values with an angle of 360 to make a full turn, and click OK. Press the play button to run the created animation. The second step is to turn that animation to an asset called Animation Sequence, which we can later utilize in the VR experience. In the bottom panel, left-click the created animation to select it, then click on Create Animation Sequence. In this dialog we are going to type a name for the sequence, I'm going to name it, Rotating Globe. Click OK to finish the animation sequence creation process. If you were to switch to the Sequences tab, you will find the newly created animation sequence named Rotating Globe, and what is left, is to attach this animation sequence to the Earth geometry, which takes us to the fourth step. From the panel to the top, click on the Training Builder. The Training Builder is a visual node-based tool that allows us to create simple and intricate interactions of objects through an event response system. Drag and drop the node triggered event to the Training Builder work area. From the 3D area, select the Earth Geometry, then attach it as the scene node for the event. Now go to the Play Sequence response and drag it and drop it onto the work area to add a Play Sequence node. Select the rotating globe animation sequence we previously created and attach it to the play sequence response. Under the loop option, you can set it to false to have the animation sequence run once or set it to true to loop the animation. Drag and drop the execute channel from the event to the execute channel in the response to attach them together. What we now have is a simple interactive system where when the user triggers or clicks the earth geometry, the rotating animation would play. Next is running the VR experience. Close the Training Builder and from the VR Viewer menu at the top, select Show in Viewer. In the Viewer Modes window, you can select whether to run the experience in desktop mode in case you do not have a VR headset. On PC VR, if you have VR headset attached to the computer such as Oculus Rift, a linked Quest, or HTC Vive or on a standalone device that is not directly linked to a computer, such as an Oculus Quest in wireless mode, Pico, or an Android, or an iOS device. For the tutorial, I'm going to run it in desktop mode. Notice that a human character has been automatically added to the scene. This is the viewer start position and it determines where your initial position would be at the beginning of the VR experience. You can use the draggers to change the viewer start position, but its default position is suitable for the VR experience, so I will leave it there and will click the check mark to confirm its location and start the VR experience. In the desktop mode of a VR experience, move the mouse to look around you in the scene. To move around, use the arrows or the WASD keys on the keyboard. To trigger or interact with an object in VR, aim towards it and press left click on the mouse. Congratulations, you have created your first interactive VR experience. To learn more about VR and interactive experience creation, 
you can go to the academy in the bottom panel and browse the different tutorials under VR where you can learn the basics as well as advanced techniques that enable you to create intricate VR experiences.